I'm in the southwest and eating pork scratchings. On the road returns with season eight. There were goals for days. I went in hard on the raffle. Some bird got done over, and the gaffer almost did as well by a lino that backed himself. It's all coming up in this video as I head down to the tenth tier of non-league football. Step six for those that give a damn. This is Bridport FC. Enjoy. Get in there. It's season eight of On the Road. We're back. And despite the videos being exactly the same, we're doing things behind the scenes a little bit differently. And it's all thanks to 21 Jordan Brown. He's been subscribed to the channel for seven years, don't you know? He's inspired me to go on a little bit of a journey, starting at non-league and working my way up to the Premier League. For this season, I'm going to start at tier 10. That's step six of non-league football. Very low. If the team I visit wins, we go up to the next tier. If they lose, we go down a tier. And if they draw, we just stay where we are. It's fine. And do not worry, we'll still be rating teams in exactly the same fashion. On the Road is exactly the same. Should we go? Let's go. Let's do this. So yeah, it's on the foot. Starting this one in the middle of nowhere as we stay in a tree house. Yes, a tree house. It's not that random though. Decided to do it for the anniversary. 15 years together, eight years married. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, she's got to be a keeper if she's allowed me to go out and do some football whilst on our anniversary break. We've got a little bit of time to kill before today's game, so we're going to swing down to Lyme Regis. That's right. And I must say, it's pretty tight down here. Proper tight. Parking is a little bit of a joke. I managed to barter with some guy and park in his garage. That was good. Nice one, Paul. And then get down to the harbour and take some photos. And it's more photos, this time beach huts. That look lovely on the ground when you boost the saturation. We then walk along and find an antique store. The eight year marriage material is actually bronze. That's what we're after, a bit of bronze. However, I was quickly distracted by a load of old football programs. Following that, it was back on the road, yet back again. It's worth noting that this place is classed as an area of outstanding natural beauty. I'll be able to show you more if Shay knew how to use the bloody camera. I couldn't possibly tell you what she's doing at this point. All I know is you can't really get the staff these days. I've got some good news, people. We have arrived at the 10th tier. This lot go by the name of Bridport FC. We were founded in 1885. As we already said, they find themselves in the 10th tier of English football, step six for non-league. More specifically, the Tall Station Southwest Peninsula Premier League East Division. And today's second versus third as they take on Crediton United. They play their football out of St Mary's Field, which has a total capacity of 2,108 of which are seated, but probably not heated. Upon on arrival, we see a queue. Love a queue at non-league. However, we do have to pay for parking. There's two about 50 spent. So let's make a ticket in there and get queuing for this absolute blockbuster of a game. There's your prices, and I'm going to miss these as we go up the league. That's six pound on the ticket, but how's the click, click, click? Fabup! Been greeted by a lady in a Liverpool shirt. I'll be doing a raffle absolutely 100% yes. 50p a line, that's three pounds spent. Not sure if I've ever mentioned it before, but on the road is over if we ever win a raffle. Done. Say nada. It's the only thing we haven't experienced in football so far. But this is nice. Although Flag Earth is moderate at best, considering the level we're at, I'm actually really impressed with these facilities. It's standing for days, even under this great big shelter. You might have actually seen me carrying this blue bag. Could be dog shit. This is one for the early guys. If you can guess what this is, I'll give you 500 quid. Genuinely, you will not guess. I'm actually going to reveal to my members in a couple of days' time, so if anyone's not got it by then, well, unlucky. The Flag Earth might not have been girthy, but the lines certainly are. Look at that. Looks like we've got a bit of discussion going on. They're going to change ends. We're changing ends. I'll see you in the second half, mate, yeah? I agree. We've got some big old building blocks. More on them in a bit, but let's bring you a kickoff. Went to the Beehive, Brentford, Bridport, same thing. On the door, we've got a printed team sheet, very posh. Not one double barrel name in sight. Charlie wouldn't believe me unless I showed him, so here you go. Inside the clubhouse, he's pumping. For those that want to work rugby and football at the same time, this is the view for you. This is a mad one. What are the FA up to? Got to be a local FA. Most places I've been to are pretty relaxed. You could have a golf buggy at your disposal and do laps around a pitch with a pint in your hand if you wanted to. I'm thinking a romantic anniversary meal table for two. A hog roast sausage roll, let's do it. Actually, you know what? Let's not. I was always worried about things like this at this level. So it's back in the clubhouse to get. I don't know what we're gonna get. Certainly no Dr. Pepper, I know that much. Two Diet Cokes and a pork scratchings, four pound thirty. Anyway, we just outside. How's this for timing? It's one nil to the bees. Get those pork scratchings open. Suddenly though, in a strange turn of events, sausage rolls are now available. That's another four pounds spent. Let's grab a seat. As far as hog roast sausage roll goes, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not tasting it. We've had a little swap and the cheese and onion one's actually alright. Restrictive views are a thing at non-league. What's that say next to him? No standing. Romantic anniversary in progress. I guess I'll let him off. He's there to watch a football, not read signs. That's my job. It's also my job to comment on how much mess I've made and almost missed something. <laughs> Derek in front was a good boy, decided to use the bin for his coffee. I wonder if this allows him to see that he's standing right in front of us. I don't think he has, either that or he doesn't give a damn. I guess we could move, but I do want to finish my cheese and onion sausage roll. And just like that, he's now 2 0 to the bees. Everyone's very respectful of bins around here. That backed up with how tidy it is. It is, of course, up for debate whether that was general waste or recycling. But ultimately, it's not on the floor, and that makes me happy. We've currently got temperatures of 28 degrees, which is why we've got some water breaks going on. And I'm having a pork scratching break. Do you eat these? Does anyone eat these? Let me know in the comments below. As I look to my left, we've got the uh, home and away dressing rooms. Uh, they look more like a prison to me. The question is, how do the players get there? Are they expected to go under the fence? I'm going to reveal it in a minute because it's, it's sensational. Firstly, despite being rounded, there's enough girth on this fence to balance your drink. Secondly, it holds enough weight. And thirdly, Oh my word. Where'd that come from? How good was that? So good. It's free new to the bees. Actually, tell a lie. Oh! Yeah! It's 
4 0 to the bees. And I've just seen the raffle lady. Half time is looming, but it should easily be five right now. Wasn't to be. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. Look at that. Just slides right open, doesn't it? So today's raffle has actually been drawn by the officials. First I've seen of that. They're always making it about them, aren't they? I'm going to make my way over to the tannoy because if you stand too far away from it, it just sounds like... I found said tannoy. We're up for ticket number seven. First prize, three, three, zero. Nope. Second, three, three, seven. Nope. Third, two, six, one. Nope. And four, six, eight, seven. No, 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 no. So it's time to walk. Got to get those steps in. The signs around here actually tell you to stand here. Is this what you call a grassy knoll? If so, we've hit the jackpot. It looks like we're ready for a second half. Should we do this? Let's do this. First question is, is this guy part of the human ruler family? Is he as straight as a ruler? I don't know. And am I happy with his skates? No, I'm not. I'm not. So much so I'm going elsewhere. I'm going to get a photo of the football to football. Whilst doing that, the away side have got a goal back. 4-1 is the comeback on. We're in for a real treat. If so, it's Wednesday. Shaz woke me up early to tell me to put the bins out. I normally say... Fuck off. And then this is what she says to me. Be quiet. Do you understand? Do you understand, sir? Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Exactly. to sit down with the atmosphere. Front row seated for six quid. You can't beat it, can you? Can't beat it. The bee's currently looking for a fifth. Oh. Near is that photo of the football at the football that I've got. I'm going to upload that to Instagram in a bit. <sighs> I feel bad. I missed the two goals that the away side had got, but it is 4-2. Things are hotting up. So much so, it's time for a drinks break again. The sharing of water bottles between two teams makes me happy. I reckon they just play for the same Sunday side, to be honest. Back to the action. I must have missed when this bird got hit by the ball. What bird? Exactly. Look at it. It's everywhere. Hang on, what's going on here? It's 5-2 to the bees and the punters are happy. Is that a spur shirt I see in the background there? Reception's pretty poor down here, to be honest. And Phil's trying to work out the exit to school, but he covered, mate, one all. And to think at the time recording this, every single person in the footballing scene has got their eyes on the Cybend charity match. I'm down at Bridport watching Bridport versus Crediton in the Tool Station Southwest Peninsula Premier East Division. It's a mouthful, but either way, I've got my priorities down to a T, right? Oh, now, we've got this far into the game, and I've only seen it since the second half, but I can't ignore it anymore. He just keeps spitting everywhere, spraying through the gaps in your teeth. Now, I would post more of this, but it's all a little bit too graphic. I could post this, though. Oh! How many more times are we going to say the comeback's on? It's 5 3 now, and they're pushing. Got themselves a free kick, haven't they? Give me the box, go and score, Josh! Great advice from the gaffer there go and score. Josh didn't score, but here's a few people who did raffle winners. Bastards. Absolute bastards. And I knew I saw a Tottenham shirt. What's that doing down here? You take a wrong turn, Jerry. Yeah, me Spurs. Looks like this comeback is placed purely on Jay and Alfie here. Jay, Alfie, go, go for it. Come on. Come on. And then three, two, one, and spit. See why we can't get rid of COVID. And that's a heavy touch. Oh. 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 Go on, Sonny. Go on, Sonny. So 6 3, and that was the final action. Yeah. Beautiful. Before we go, though, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And as always, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. For this level, you can never really expect much. One star's a given. I'm going to give them an extra half, though. Good little community they've got down there. They're jokes for days. Next up, we're talking facilities. Remember, we are very far down the ladder here, and we're marking relatively to where we're at. I've seen teams at a higher level with a far worse ground than this. This ain't even that bad. It was a lovely little pitch. Everything you needed was there for this level. You can't give it bad marks. It's decent. We're going to go four stars for Bridport, but we might just take a little dip here for food and drink. Obviously, we thought there wasn't anything. Pork scratchings wouldn't have cut it, but pulling it out of the bag, they managed to get some hog roast sausage rolls and some cheese and onion ones and all. And to be honest, it wasn't the food at the football that I wanted. Nothing to shout home about. The best I can give them is two stars. And finally, talking cost, we're not going to get much cheaper than this. Six pounds to get in is an absolute bargain. And for that, we saw a decent clash. Second versus third. Nine goals in total. Surely it can only be five stars, eh? Which gives Bridport a total score of 12 and a half stars. A very respectable score for a side that's so far down the ladder. And what does that mean for the series? Well, we've just been promoted to tier nine, ladies and gentlemen. These are our options. Plenty to choose from. Where do we go next? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let's make a way out see some beautifully branded benches and some ecstatic OAPs. I've been talking about this for weeks to come. Meanwhile, I need some petrol, and with everything being 15, 20 minutes away from each other, there's a chance we could be stranded. Where's the nearest petrol station? Maybe about 200 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. Let's get out of here. Nice one, Bridport. And big shout out to you guys as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. As I always say, I will see you in the next one.